An exponential expansion event can be expected in short order. In other words, a supernova. The sun is nearing critical mass. Surface solar activity will grow in violence and frequency, followed by expulsion cycles, which can be expected to include Earth in their telemetry. Increased magnetic reconnection, SID, sudden ionospheric disturbance. Good morning, Dr. Shepard. I was just wondering if you got those gravitational field disturbance reports. You know, the ones you asked Dr. Richardson for? Unfortunately, I did. Excuse me? They were fine, Jenny. I cross-checked uh, the analysis against our data from Moscow. Everything seemed in order, but I'd be happy to come over there. I'll call you back. Okay. Uh, Jenny. Thanks for the help these past few months. Be good to yourself. Pick them up. He's on the move. Let's go. Well, I uh, can't see these magnetic storms, but I'll tell you, you can feel it because it's plenty hot out there. And uh, let's turn to our very own Dr. Sheila. She's going to be uh, answering some questions. That's 50,000 in US dollars. Another 25 in euros and 5,000 in gold coins. Are you certain you want to exchange this much currency, Dr. Shepard? Better call this in. Gotta go. We're here at Memorial Fountain near downtown where the mayor launched his re-election campaign only last week. But events here today have given new meaning to the term lame duck. Apparently these ducks took a wrong turn on their way north to the Mediterranean ending up here for this unprecedented visit. Ornithologists believe that ducks migrate using electromagnetic patterns in the atmosphere, but those patterns have apparently been disrupted. In fact, erratic migrating behavior has been reported all over the continent. The cause? Sunspots. They're clear. All right, that'll be the lead in. And we'll do some B-roll and then I'll do the wrap up. 
Hey! Lay off the ferret gamos! Who would like to make some easy money? Speaker's Corner Coffee Shop! Check this. Dr. Shepard? It's my birthday. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. I missed you so much. Mm. Oh, God. I thought... I'm sorry, I forgot that they were starting the installation this week. Cloud. That's the idea. We, uh, we really need to have that on during the day. It makes me feel better. Especially if I'm here alone. Just a few more days. Just a few more days. You will never be able to hurt you again. to go into the office today. You just got back. Well, I promised Handy an update on the meeting when I got in. I won't be late. Haley's recitals tomorrow night. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. You'll pick us up? Well, if I get held up, I'm sure Teresa could do it. Chris. I'm not gonna miss it. Like you did the last one? Honey. A solar probe goes online in less than a month. I, things have been just going crazy at the shop. Things are always crazy at the shop, and it's always you who has to calm things down. It's my job. It's what I do. I'll get it. Austin Shepard gets to spend all his time staring at the sky while they send you, a brilliant astrophysicist, all over God's creation, putting out fires. Well, look, Austin Shepard's a genius. I'm just lucky to be carrying his water. They don't deserve you, Chris. We could be happy back in the States. You could teach, do research, just like you always wanted. This, uh, this isn't about Austin Shepard or the solar probe or me being underappreciated, is it? All I want is to feel safe. 
I just want us all to feel safe. I will never let anything happen to you. Or Haley. Never. Okay. I don't understand. When we spoke on the phone, you said there wouldn't be a problem. We had an appointment for two. I know, I remember, and I'm really sorry, but he's just not answering his phone. We made this appointment over a week ago. If I don't get this into editing before the weekend, we won't make air. Uh, would you just excuse me for a moment? Hi. Welcome back. You haven't seen Dr. Shepard anywhere, have you? It's just, I've got the British equivalent of Barbara Walters huffing and puffing like that, and she's really starting to piss me off. Dr. Richardson? Laurie Stevenson, Channel 7. I covered your solar probe news conference last month. How are you? Uh, jet lagged. We're doing a feature on the recent sunspot activity. Uh, Dr. Shepard promised an interview at two, and it's now almost quarter to three. We'll do whatever we can to help you find it. Excuse me. Looks like they've misplaced a Nobel Prize winner. Um, so what do I tell Woodward and Bernstein downstairs? Just tell them to cool their heels for a little while. Maybe they'll get bored, go home. Christopher, Jenny sent the calculations of the gravitational field disturbances associated with asteroid 460. Your work is flawless. I wish it wasn't. We've all spent so much of our lives pondering the mysteries of the cosmos, but none of us could say what we would do if we only had one week left to live. Bon voyage. Chris, need to see you. My office right now. Good news, Chris. I'm assigning you to the Solar Physics Conference. You'll be representing us as lead scientist on the Solar Probe. Uh, Austin Shepard is lead scientist in the Solar Probe. Dr. Shepard has disappeared. And you are? Special Agent Delgado, National Intelligence Organization. Long way from home. My associates, Agent Bot, Agent Means. Internal Security Bureau. We're cooperating on Dr. Shepard's case. What case is that? Austin took an unscheduled trip out of the country this morning, Chris. Any idea where he went? Looking for a good curry? Austin has been selling some of the research protocols for Solar Probe to other parties. Uh, Austin. Before Dr. Shepard left this morning, he emailed five colleagues, 
all astrophysicists, none of whom has anything to do with the solar probe project, and all of whom are scheduled to be at the solar conference tomorrow. He emailed me this morning. Saying? Not that it's any of your business, but he was thanking me. For some information I compiled for him regarding a planetesimal he was interested in. Asteroid 460. Nothing to do with the solar probe. Do you think that's what the other emails were about? I don't know. You're the spooks, you tell me. Dr. Shepard's message is self-destructed after being read. No footprint, very sophisticated. We know who they were sent to, but not their contents. Now, why would he do that? I have no idea. Chris, they need to know what was in those emails. Well, then they can ask whoever received them. Oh, I get it. So this is why I'm going to the conference? You'll be wired with a surveillance device. No one will know. I will know. Dr. Richardson, if Dr. Shepard is innocent, if he's merely out for a joyride looking for a good curry, fine, no harm, no foul. But if he's shopping solar probe protocols to parties outside of our consortium, then that is a matter of national security. International security. The scientists in that conference are doing research that could benefit all of mankind. I, I can't walk in there like some spy. There isn't a choice in this, Chris. You're leaving. Tonight. Pentagon stuck a whole spy module on the Hubble without NASA ever knowing. I didn't believe it at the time. Why would the NIO be interested in Austin's work? Unless Solar Probe has some function we haven't been told about. But you're the project manager. You'd know if there are any other functions, wouldn't you? Whatever Austin was working on, its twin would be down here. Internal Systems Ops creates a shadow file of everything entered into the SPL network. Everything? all communication between Dr. Shepard and any scientist, either on our network or outside of it. And? Well, I've got everything up until five days ago. After that, there's nothing. You want to hear something even weirder than that? What? It's all gone. All of it. All of his notes, everything about the solar probe, all the data I sent him regarding the planetesimal. Everything from the last few days is gone. Why would you do that? Austin, what the hell are you doing? No. 
Now there's something you don't see all the time. Yes. It started. Authorities have no explanation for this tragic animal behavior, but scientists at the International Wildlife Federation continue to insist that there's no relationship between the instance here and the spontaneous zebra stampede which killed 30 children in a remote canyon village, or the massive locust storms in Hamal. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you doing? There's a problem at the lab. Austin Shepard is missing. Missing? He was supposed to go to the uh, solar symposium, and no one can find him, so I have to go in his place. When? You're gonna miss Haley's recital, aren't you? No, no, Brooke. Honey, you cannot live like this, okay? Yourself sick. You didn't see the look on his face, Christopher. He enjoyed what he did to those people. He was excited by it. Yeah, you, and thanks to you, he is never going to have the chance to do it again. He said he would come for us, for Haley. How? He, you know, he's in jail. They got him locked up. They're never going to let him go. Teresa's here all the time. This, uh, the security system, it goes directly to the police. I got the guys from the lab, the security, they just drive by here all night. You are safe. Haley's safe. I wish we'd never come here. Pig's lob for a pig. <laughs> He's scheduled to speak at the symposium tomorrow. Yeah, he should have checked in already. Really? Well, I'm told that the university uses your hotel exclusively for visiting professors and guest speakers. 
And you're certain Dr. Austin Shepard hasn't checked in? Okay, thanks. Working late? Harry, how are you? Oh, I got a hammer right. How's the sunspot thing going? It's going. Don't make a meal out of it. You're not in Bosnia anymore. It's filler, fluff, okay? Yeah. Right. On Tuesday, I want you to cover that uh, puppy adoption thing at the nursing home. Wait a minute, you said you'd put me on the coal execution. Oh, sorry, I uh, gave that to Kim Haddonfield. Well, I thought she'd be more... Hot. Sensitive. I'm sending Carl with her. Yeah, you, uh, you can take the new kid with you to the nursing home. Puppies. Right. I'm on it, Chief. You're not on the network anymore, kiddo. Try to remember that. Convicted rapist and serial killer Grant Cole will be transferred from state prison to the facility in Brownstown where his execution is scheduled to be carried out. Cole's attorneys have continued to file motions for a stay of execution, but those appeals have been unsuccessful. Come on, we're gonna be late. Go get in the car, honey. I'll be right behind you. Next time you go playing in the alley, Sophia, you have to wear your sneakers, okay? Doctor Laurie, four, four, two, three, one, seven. Very good. Doctor Laurie, two, three, one, seven. Hello, Doctor. Well done. So, you doing anything tonight? Our anniversary. One year to the day since the first time I kissed you. Oh God. I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. Started going crazy. The equipment shut down. Everything. Power's out all at once. You've got to be a respiratory distress here. Believe it or not, this baby has a six millimeter wide angle lens in it. The mic is multi-directional. Just talk normally and we'll see and hear everything. Oh, by the way, it also works just like a pen. Great. You're not doing anything wrong. Not in your world, maybe. I can't believe how good she's gotten. She's so proud you came. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> Bingo. Shepard?
Dapat si Shepard. This is Dr. Austin Shepherd's residence at 273 Old Willow Road. And it's about 9.30 p.m., August the 29th. As we can see, somebody's been in here looking for something. And as eccentric as Dr. Shepherd is known to be, it's a good bet he wouldn't trash his own home like this. So far, there's no sign of any foul play. But then again, there's no sign of Dr. Shepard either. Jenny, Laurie Stevenson, Channel 7. How do you know where I live? I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, I can't talk to you. Jenny, I think Dr. Shepard's in trouble. Skipper. Skipper? That's what Dr. Shepard called the porcupine. God. He used to hang out on the back porch all the time. Oh. When did you last see Dr. Shepard? Well, I saw him this morning. At least, I saw him on the phone. There's a T1 line direct from the observatory to SPL. Has anyone been out there? Nobody goes over there without a personal invitation from Dr. Shepard. You guys don't have the slightest idea where he is, do you? And from the looks of his place, you're not the only ones looking for him. Doesn't that concern you? We should go out to his observatory, Ginny. We should go out there and check on him. What if he's hurt? I'm going out there. You know, it's a four-hour drive. So? Well, you'll never get past security. A magnetic storm that originated from the sun gave people around the globe a rare treat last night and gave cell phone providers and satellite channels like ours headaches. Researchers from leading universities were both awed and caught off guard by the length and size of this latest magnetic storm. As one researcher said, it reinforces how little we actually know about our sun. But outside of some minor inconveniences last night, scientists tell us to expect that over the next few days, the magnetic storms will gradually subside. Scientists are now saying a series of electromagnetic pulses are responsible for the havoc experienced in telephone, television, and radio transmission all across the Southern Hemisphere. The Institute for Atmospheric Analysis blames the pulses on the normal apex of an 11-year cycle of sunspot activity. And now... Hi, Jenny. Hi, we're just picking up some papers for Dr. Shepard. Sure, try one. Hi, Jenny. From October to November 2003, more than a dozen solar storms, including the most powerful ever recorded, erupted from the face of the sun, sending blast waves in every direction. Eruptions so powerful that billions of tons of electrified gas at speeds of up to five million miles per hour shot into space, the fastest ever recorded. Fortunately, these blasts were not aimed directly at Earth. Austin wouldn't send out such an email if he wasn't sure. It just doesn't make sense. Something is wrong. Well, you've seen the equations. Numbers don't lie. Look, just because we are unable to find error in his calculations, 
does not necessarily mean his conclusion is correct. There is a mistake. There is something we do not see. You are in denial, my friend. Gentlemen and lady. Dr. Richardson, we were not expecting you to attend. Dr. Richardson, where is Dr. Shepard? Austin has uh, been delayed. Delayed? No, 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 no. There's too much coincidence. Uh, something's not right. garbage on this bandwidth. Come on, let's get it together, guys. I'm sorry. Those sunspots are affecting our equipment. Wait a second. They're on the move. Sergeant. Isn't there something you can do about all this interference we're getting? No, I'm afraid not. You know, I suggest you get all your people on hard lines. Anything over a satellite's iffy at best. That last magnetic storm knocked out two DOD communication birds and about 50% of the uh, commercial satellites that are out there. Really? Oh, yeah. Joint Chiefs have ordered that whatever satellites we have that can still be moved, be put into a geosynchronous orbit, we're gonna hide them behind the planet, try to protect them from any more direct hits like we had last night. Let me show you something that we got from SPL. Whatever magnetic waves aren't absorbed by the Earth just kind of flow around it, envelop it like a blanket. You know, they lose some of their juice, but a really big one's gonna knock out everything anyway. Joseph, please. Are we not being a little paranoid? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Where's our good friend Austin? Austin's missing. I think he's missing like Ibrahim, yes. What about Ibrahim? Suicide. At least that is what we are being told. <laughs> This is like old Soviet Union. S S S A L. Every death of scientist, suicide. Hurry, Art Joseph, what are you trying to say? That that he was murdered? First Ibrahim, now Austin. That is the same old story. KGB, CIA, NIO, they're all the same. They only want control. But why Ibrahim? Why would they want to hurt him? Because of what Austin told him. Because of what Austin told all of us. What did he tell you? You better sit down, mate. Dr. Shepard's plan for a solar probe was to investigate the sun's core gravity. This algorithm here is a formula for hydrogen conversion to helium by nuclear fusion. Sure, that would have been my guess. It's the process of the sun's core that creates the heat. Now that's all well and good. What I do not understand is how that relates to this, which would seem to indicate some sort of breach in the corona through the photosphere and into the chromosphere. Mm. What caused the breach? Well, we're not quite sure, but Austin has always thought that the sun is far older than we've imagined. That's just a hypothesis. The solar probe was built to explore that assumption. Save the rocket fuel, Christopher. It is settled. I am not convinced. If Austin is right, and we've been wrong about the age of the sun, so what? If I'm reading this correctly, Austin's convinced that this breach is just the beginnings of a process that will result in a... A supernova. We. Oui. The end of life, as we know it. But our esteemed colleague, Joseph, doesn't seem to agree with Austin's calculations. There is too much we do not know about star maturity and death. Look, look right here. He is making an assumption about core gravity. Where did he get this assumption? 
There's something wrong with it. The assumption must be correct, Joseph. Everything that follows is happening. Interference with communications. Anomalous animal behavior. A breakdown of the magnetosphere. Something is wrong. I feel it. Right or wrong, we have an obligation to consider. What are we going to tell the public? You tell the public nothing. My name is Special Agent Delgado, National Intelligence Organization. I must ask you all to come with me now. In the interest of security, you will be escorted to a secure location where you will be debriefed. About what? Debriefed. Debrief. Representatives from your governments will be available to discuss the situation with you. I have no interest in going to a secure location. Oh, I second that. I'm afraid it's not a matter of choice. Dr. Richardson, perhaps you can explain the seriousness of our intentions. This was never about stolen protocols, was it? Dr. Chernislav? We're here to help you, sir. I know you're upset. But please stay calm. Let's talk about this. No! 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 Delgado! Delgado, no! Damn it! Hang on! Hold on! Hold on! Take the others to the van. Yes, ma'am. I want Dr. Shepard's numbers put through a ringer. I want to know what you think these calculations mean and whether you agree with his conclusions. No assumptions, people. No dressing things up. Nobody eats, nobody sleeps. I want the worst case scenario. And let's hope there's a flaw. How long is this going to take? As long as it takes. We have to get this out. Get what out? Excuse me, sir. I realize I'm just a civilian here, but I think the potential end of the world is important news. Potential? Potential? We don't know anything. Ginny seems fairly certain. With all due respect, three months ago, Ginny was cleaning out her dorm room. No offense. If I were in your position, Miss Stevenson, I'd wait until there's a bit more informed analysis before making a fool of myself and risking what's left of my career. Sorry. 
I'm sorry. That was cruel and uncalled for. No, oh, I'm used to it. Besides, you may be only three months out of your dorm room, but I bet you know more than all those wonks put together. So, what are you going to do? What would you do? I... I know what I'd do. I'd go find that gorgeous boyfriend you love and spend every possible second in his arms. Now, you've got great veins, so it's easy to hook you up. The needle goes in really slowly. That's when the warden signals for the curtains to be open. So you can see all your guests staring at you, strapped in like an animal. Now you can see everything, hear everything, feel everything. But you can't move. But the best part is the stuff that stops your heart. Nice and slow. You can feel every last drop of blood draining from your brain. Guess what? You're awake. She was the best horse I could ever imagine. Our master called her sweet, because that's what she was. Every time she saw him, she would neigh and prance until finally he'd come and stroke her. And then he would look down on me and he'd say, Lucky boy you are, Black Spot, to have a mom like this. I have everyone from the Joint Chiefs to the President's Chief of Staff breathing down my neck. I want those people secured and debriefed as soon as possible. I understand, sir. We'll be en route within the hour. Sir? Sir? You're breaking up, sir. I'm in the air in 15. Be ready when I get there. Let's go. Hey, we're not criminals. You can't be treating us this way. The Australian government's not going to be very happy about this. And you still have not told us what happened to Joseph. You will be briefed when we arrive at our location. Don't you want to know what's going on here? All I want to know is that you're secure for your debriefing. That is my job, that's what I intend to do. And where do you intend to do this? This will all go a lot easier if you just cooperate. What about my family? I'd like to make a phone call. Let them know that I'm all right. It goes for all of us. When we get to the location. Could you at least take the handcuffs off?
think these are necessary at this point? It's not like I'm going anywhere. This is Three Dragon, Game Ball ETA, approximately 2300 hours. Bad rotor? Something with the electronics. Everything's overloaded at the same time. What's happening? Okay, the Onyx. Stand on the pedal. Adjusting pitch. Stand by to auto rotate. We have instrument failure. I've got to put us down. Strap in. Give me a street pack read. Negative. It's gone. Switch to the Omega! Disregard the flare. We'll bring her in visually. Hold on! It's the navigation, isn't it? The radiation! Phoenix 3, Dragon. We're going down. We're okay, we're okay. Stay on this heading. There's a highway, two clicks. Phoenix 3, this is Dragon. We have full-scale electronic overload in multiple systems. Mayday, mayday, we are going down. At south, one, two, four degrees, three, three minutes, two, five seconds. East, eight, zero degrees, two, zero minutes, one, five seconds. I don't see it. There's no highway. It should be right in front of us. Ah, we're going to go We're going in hard, hang on! Shut her down! Hang on! magnetic storm took out air traffic and computerized navigation systems worldwide. Okay. How do we avoid this from happening again? You gotta ground all air traffic worldwide until the magnitude of this storm subsides. That would strand millions of people in times of an international crisis. We have no choice, Deputy Miller. Okay, gentlemen. Come with me. I need the Deputy Chief of the Secret Service. Uh, this is Miller, 916 Apple Delta. I am activating National Crisis Management Plan Zulu. Uh, the President and his staff need to be informed of this, and arrangements to secure them will need to be set in motion. Yes. Code Phoenix. No, no, I understand. Right. Inform the sergeant of the guard that this facility is to be locked down within the hour. All personnel within easy transit are to be recalled. Everyone else is to be ignored. Have your MPs fully armed with orders after the hour mark to deny access to anyone else. Words, warning shots, then they must do what they must. Yes, sir. Shepard's predictions for phase one and phase two are by and large correct. And we believe that phase three has already begun. We're recording coronal mass eruptions unlike anything we've ever seen before. Plasma flares from these eruptions are moving at four, five, six million miles an hour. That puts first impact at 12 to 15 hours. What happens when they hit? I can't be sure. All I have to go on are the computer scenarios. Let's hear them. We'll be bombarded with superheated CME material. English, please. Think fireballs, I suppose. In other words? Yeah. They'll burn themselves out before impact. Hell, that's a positive. Yes, but 
We are in uncharted territory here, Colonel. There is also the possibility that the plasma will actually feed on the oxygen in our atmosphere. To put it bluntly, the sky could catch fire. Colonel, I was wondering about our arrangement. I'd like to prepare my people. Get them ready to leave. Just sit tight, Handy. Make sure no one leaves. You'll be hearing from us. Another? You make a really good drink. You make a really good drunk. The perfect relationship. I've got a secret, you know. I never would have guessed. We're all going to die. No big secret there. No, 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 no. Everybody. Soon. It doesn't matter what's coming next. Only matters what you're doing now. L'chaim. Denver International, 747, overshot the runway by 1,200 yards. Pilot managed to put it down on cattle pasture. Instrument malfunction. Peking, same thing, only they weren't so lucky, 217 dead. Also Pittsburgh, Bombay, Morocco, plus the thing in Paris, the Tokyo blackout, it's worldwide. Excuse me. Nothing. Not at those coordinates, sir. How long since the mayday? Eight hours, sir. Widen the search. Mm -hmm. I want survivors. Or bodies. Take it easy. As far as I can tell, nothing's broken, but I'd still go slow if I were you. Like I said, What about the others? Didn't make it. Did you pull me out? Yeah. Thank you. Let's hope they can find my signal. I gotta get home. I... <sighs> Sit down, Richardson. Look, my wife and daughter are alone. They need me. There's gonna be a town around here somewhere. Christopher. My orders still stand. Let me ask you a question. You got a husband? Kids? I didn't think so. But since you ask, I have a mother and a sister. Don't you want to see them again? I intend to. Then listen very closely to what I'm about to tell you, because in a very short time, weeks, maybe months, this entire planet is going to start to boil like an egg in hot water. It's not going to leave you much time for a family reunion, is it? But you could be wrong. Right? Let's put it this way. I don't think your orders are going to matter anymore. been disrupted. In fact, erratic migrating behavior has been reported all over the continent. The cause? Sunspots. This sunspot activity 
has surpassed all recorded historical levels, causing communication blackouts, freakish electrical storms, and even the recent air disasters we've been seeing across the country and around the world. According to renowned astrophysicist Dr. Austin Shepard of the Space Propulsion Laboratories, we're in for a lot worse. He's not only predicted recent events correctly, but his research suggests that events are building towards a possible cataclysmic supernova of the sun. What the hell? Thanks, Laurie. We'll have more on this story tonight at 11. Don't go away. Tony Summers has his review of Victoria's Secret Lingerie Show next. And we're clear. We got a, uh, we got a scrim out on three. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I wish I was. You have no corroboration, no verification. Would you have aired it if I had? Let him get lost in the shuffle down there, G. Hey, G, stay with him. Hey. Hey. What happened? A commuter jet lost its navigation systems and crashed into a hotel near the airport. Metropolitan can't handle the casualties of the sending the rest here. Look. We need to talk. It's all happening. I mean, everything he predicted, plane crashes, everything. It's all happening. What are we supposed to do? Will it be soon? I don't know. I'm so sorry. emergency room full of people out there who need me and uh, until it's my time that's where I'm gonna be Live at the gates of the federal prison at Pretoria, where convicted serial killer Grant Cole is being trapped. They say he never checked in. Yeah, I've called the conference center. He was registered. People saw him there. Look, I want to speak with Joe Handy. Okay, well, what about Ginny McKillop? Hello? Hello? Sure he's all right, Mom. Sure he is, honey. It's just these phones and this crazy interference, right? He'll call in. Let us know he's all right. I'm gonna go practice. Good girl.
Dr. Ibrahim. I was told that you were dead. I think we are all dead, my friend. Not yet. Harlan Williams, Dr. Richardson. I'm glad to see you're safe. Delgado. <clears throat> Have a seat. I think I'll stand. You know, I think we owe you a bit of an explanation. Yeah, just a bit. You know, I don't want to waste time with a lot of introductions. Suffice to say, these men and women were gathered with great difficulty. And with great effort, I might add. To evaluate Austin Shepard's theories about the current unanticipated solar activity. You mean the end of life as we know it? We were hoping you could shed some new light on his calculations. Let's put it this way. Even if Austin's calculations are partially incorrect, life on this planet is about to change radically. Polar ice caps may melt. The atmosphere may be stripped away. If that happens, exposure to UV alone will kill us. Make no mistake, a mass extinction event will happen. It's out of our control, people. We need to warn the public. Maybe throw up a prayer. I don't put much stock in blind faith, Dr. Richardson. Fortunately, I'm not alone. Some very important people in some very important countries asked a very important question. If civilization was faced with annihilation, and by civilization they meant us, Christopher, the educated, the skilled, the trained. If somehow we faced extinction, could any semblance of a civil society be regenerated? And the answer at the time was quite clearly no. So the concept of plausible survivability was developed, and back in the 50s, that meant canned food, water, and maybe an 8x10 concrete cubicle. As you can see, we've come a long way since then. Phoenix, one of several self-sustaining, self-contained facilities all over the world. Designed to sustain up to 10,000 people for up to 15 years. Engineers, scientists, doctors, teachers, farmers, very egalitarian. The list are updated constantly. All kinds of people, Christopher, except for lawyers, of course. A Noah's Ark for the new millennium. Each facility houses a DNA library of over 250,000 species of plants and animals. This one is responsible for the live maintenance of over 700. If only one third of these facilities survive, Mankind could still emerge with enough DNA, enough genetic diversity to safely repopulate the planet. That's something. Assuming there's a planet left to uh, emerge, too. Uh, frankly, supernova would definitely overwhelm our preparations. We've been betting on something a bit less apocalyptic. Nowhere else to go but up. Austin Shepard's projections are elaborately complex. Help us out here. See if you can find any flaws in his work. Well, what makes you think that I would ever agree to participate in this madness? You have no choice. Ever since you took a job at SBL, you've been on the list. What about my family? I'll look into it. What about you? You one of the lucky ones, too? <laughs> <laughs> 
Agent Delgado has the necessary skills. What about your mother and your sister? They got the necessary skills. You can't do this. Look around you. The trigger's already been pulled. National Emergency Directive. It's been on the books for years. Every president, whether he's aware of it or not, is bound by it. The same is true in at least two dozen other countries. Martial law. Think of it as the draft. What about the other people? How do you think they're going to react when they find out? We don't advertise, Christopher. Tell me this is a bad joke. You don't believe that crap. It's about the common good. The hive. And the survival of it. Don't be foolish, Christopher. Step away from the vehicle, sir. Right. you can do, Andy. After the last incident, we had to reboot a couple of retired commercial satellites. This is the best graphic we could accomplish with the data we received. You're lucky you're seeing this much. Old satellites plus this kind of event, not a formula for success. Hold your breath. Impact in five, four, three, two, one. What the hell? You believe this?
Well now, isn't this something? You're alive too, huh? Eh, well, yeah. What situation here? Maybe uh, you can. Uh, yeah. That's a solution. <laughs> All right, mate. First, come on now. Ah. All right, mate. You and me. Find some transportation as soon as we can, now, right? I might have you in charge, you know, the your background. But say, uh, I'll do anything you say, all right? That you're famous. I've heard quite a lot about you. And uh, I tell you, I, I can do a few things, you know. I can't wire anything, anything you tell me to do. It's just me and you, all right? <laughs> well, uh... We're doing well considering the time crunch. The Phoenix compound is ready to be inhabited. We have a lock on 40% of our targets, workable whereabouts on an additional 25. Even if we top out at that, we're good to go. My advice, we begin collecting immediately. Turn the on. moment we've dodged the bullet. Hold on. Williams. Gotta check your monitors again. Mr. Miller. What is this? It's a solar plasma injection. SPO says it's headed for Earth. What? Solar material. It's a form of matter. It's unstable. We know very little about it. How much time? Minutes. Are the Phoenix complexes in the US, Europe, and Australia aware of this? Yes, sir, they are. Space Command satellites offline, sir. Without knowing where or when, we can't order evacuations.
President has mobilized the 101st Airborne Division, and FEMA has sent all available search and rescue units to St. Louis to assist local crisis units. The scope of the devastation is still not completely known. We think they're still going to have water shortages. given time, casualties are difficult, if not impossible, to assess, and it may be dangerous. As you can see, Peter, we're still experiencing isolated structural explosions and fires. The fire department has instructed those people in the hotspot areas to relocate to the Red Cross Center. Centers up, and it may be Well, it seems as though we've lost our remote signal from the center of the main destruction. We apologize for that, but assure you that we will continue our coverage if possible. Most of the country hasn't seen that much. We've begun collecting essential personnel from our lists, but we sure have a ways to go. A panic exodus of the general population before we reach target numbers would be a disaster. The meteor hit is a good cover for now. But we've got to keep Shepard's theories of a supernova out of the mix any way we can. Because we cannot tolerate any delays in its editing process. I think we can all agree on that. These are difficult times, people. None of us wanted this to happen. But this is what we were trained for. Our job is to face the arithmetic, as Abraham Lincoln said. If we can do this without sentimentality, without nostalgia, mankind has a chance for a future. If we can, mankind can only have a past. Delgado, I'm concerned about keeping Dr. Richardson in the residence pods. Why is that, sir? He panicked. He'll either settle down or he won't. I'd feel better if you transport him to the containment compound. For his own safety. Sir. I was wondering if you'd heard anything, sir. I'm sorry. The retrieval team we sent made it very clear to your family that it would be safer for them to join you here. I understand, sir. Some people just aren't convinced of the severity of this situation. Or they'd rather take their chances where they are. If I could just speak with them... We can't force them to come in, Lisa. We forced Dr. Richardson, sir. He's an essential. You're an essential.
The president has been secured. The Joint Chiefs are with him. The cabinet has been rounded up and a good number of senators and representatives are with marshals or state police at temporary shelters. So, what do we know? Well, St. Louis has been devastated. It seems the atmosphere provided us with some protection, but the impact and the resulting fires have laid waste to the entire metropolitan area. Houston, Grand Rapids, and several million acres of national parklands out west are up in flames. There are fires on the outskirts of Los Angeles and San Diego. Evacuation is impossible because the fire almost surrounds the metro areas. Any way to tell if we have more like that headed our way? DOD, NATO, and CETO information, fiber optic, mm -hmm. intranet network is still functioning. We do have limited communications abilities to tap into observation resources worldwide. It is our best and only hope to try to catch new events as they form. What we need is someone who knows something about what the hell is going on. Find someone now. Yes, sir. I can only speculate. But it is becoming clear to me that there are efforts underway to try to minimize the significance of the phenomena that the world has experienced over the past several days. But these incidents, the airline crashes, the electrical storms, the blackouts, were all accurately anticipated in Dr. Shepard's research, which I obtained from his observatory just after he disappeared. The beginnings of, of what you call a supernova? Yes. Which means? It means that the sun is going to expand and will eventually consume our entire solar system. I'm Laurie Stevenson of Channel 7 News. And for the record, my reports on Dr. Shepard's work and his current disappearance have not been allowed to air. So I've made the decision to defy my superiors and to get this information out the only way I know how. To all of you who see this, I can only promise to continue reporting what I learn until such times I'm prevented from doing so. You know, I think you guys have me in the wrong room. There's no telephone, I got no mini bar. What is up with that? Stand up. Oh, come on. Hands. Colonel Williams is right about you. Yeah. He's a great judge of character. He should definitely be the one getting to choose who lives and who dies. Let's go. Where are we going? The Colonel believes you'd be more comfortable at another location. What did 
I miss? Coronal mass ejections breached the atmosphere. St. Louis? No one knows how bad, but it's bad. So, Delgado, how's the family? Rest. My mother and sister live in St. Louis. I think he's okay. He's just calling to let you know. Haley! Haley! I'm sorry, Mom. I knocked over my glass. I got scared. Are you okay? Did you cut yourself? No. No. I'll clean it up. On the internet, it, it's still working. I was seeing maybe if Daddy had emailed or, or something. Nicky, we're not Nicky. Easy pickings, this is Reaches, but I'm not sure I'll get through. Don't worry about me, madam. I'll be fine. But I will worry, Teresa. As soon as you make the arrangements, you lock up the house and you leave. And when this is over, I'll come find you. I know you will, madam. Listen to your mother. Bye, Teresa. I promise I'll see you again soon. Let's go. My people's kids downloaded it this afternoon, emailed it to his mother. Must be everywhere by now. I recognize her. We knocked heads a few times in Bosnia or Amanpour, somewhere down the line. I had someone check the station. She hasn't been seen for a couple of days. We got teams underground. We'll find her. Listen, at the moment, I got more pressing problems. Sir, we still need to discuss the situation here. Tell me. She's coming to one of the vehicles. Left the facility about two hours ago. Richardson is definitely with her. She had papers with your signature. Clever girl. I'm sorry. Look, Richardson, we've got another hour, maybe two, before Williams finds out since his dogs. Now, if I were you, I'd be trying to figure out what to do with my newfound freedom. Get to my wife. Little girl. If we're lucky, I can get you into the city in a couple of days. Then what? Then? 
you on your own. You can't make it to St. Louis, Delgado. It's halfway around the world. Watch me. There's a notebook in the duffel. You should take a look at it. These are Chenislav's notes. Just tell me I have enough time to find my mother and my sister. won't find you, Brooke. Not here. I just wish I could get a hold of Chris. Problem in the fuel line. She's jerking like a mare in heat. Can't do much until tomorrow. But my wife's got a little motel out back. Reasonable, right? Thanks. Uh, mind keeping her inside, though? The uh, sun's a killer on her finish. She won't see the light of day till you're back. <sighs> what now? Another ride. here.
Did you leave anyone? Behind them. I was married. <laughs> Great guy, actually. Somehow I don't think so. Life is full of surprises. Isn't it? How ironic, if I hadn't spent my whole life looking at the stars, I might have missed the most beautiful thing on earth I've ever seen. Why is it that we find the best things? So little time to enjoy. I wonder if anybody knows. Might be better if it's fast. I'm not sure how civilization can handle the inevitability of its own end. I wish Shepard wasn't so friggin' smart. I wasn't so stupid. There has to be an anomaly. I just can't see it. Maybe it isn't there. Uh, Channel's love, I'm sure it was. Something about Shepard's assumptions bothered him. Assumptions? The premise is wrong, everything after the premise is wrong. Chenislav had a feeling. I got a feeling. What? We're in trouble. This gas gauge read full nearly two hours ago. How far have we come? Far enough to be out of gas pretty soon. Do you think anybody's seen it yet? We posted it on every network we could access. <sighs> There's your answer. We have to get more information. Get back online. Keep people informed. We're going to SPL. You can't be serious. It's the most important solar research lab in the world. If there's any place we can find out what's really going on, it's there. Okay, try it again. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. She's dry. Give me the keys. Grab the duffel. What are you doing? Looking for things to salvage. <sighs> you never know.
storm, recorded about three hours ago. Plasma flares that have an intensity and velocity that far exceed anything ever recorded. Is it gonna hit us? Not it, they. Our simulations predict that the mass will disperse on its way here. It'll hit us like a scattergun loaded with nuclear birdshot. When? Traveling at over a million miles an hour, the sun is 93 million away. You do the maths. Damage assessment. St. Louis times a thousand. Colonel, I think it's time for us to make the evacuation. Williams? I'm afraid that's not going to be possible, Malcolm. What? I'm afraid we're spread too thin. Our priorities have definitely changed. We had an agreement, Colonel. I'm sorry. in six seconds. Luxury. And kick ass. They've all got their keys in them and a full tank of gas. I'll take your pick. I just want to get the hell out of here. They get old real fast. You religious? Not really. Are you? I went to Sunday school when I was young. And the moon became his blood. And the fifth angel sounded. The stars of heaven fell onto the earth. Figs from a fig tree, shaken by the wind. Revelations. I thought you said you weren't religious. Our sun is going out, taking our solar system and everything living with it. The end of the world. What does it all mean? It's just a process. Nuclear electromagnetic phenomena. A process? In the grand scheme of things, we're pretty insignificant. That's the way you really feel about your wife, your daughter. Insignificant. been tracking this thing all along. He knew about Dr. Shepard's theories before any of us. And he's been passing the information on to some guy named Harlan Williams? Harlan Williams? That's right. Do you know him? He was in Bosnia. He's in Ayo. Oh, so that's how they got on this. Well, Ginny, I seem to have underestimated you. You, on the other hand, I had picked. Okay, wait a minute. You're gonna question her ethics after what you've been doing? And uh, what exactly do you think I have been doing? Selling us out. You've been feeding Dr. Shepard's information to national intelligence for months. For years. 
How do you think we've been able to afford all the, the research that brilliant people like you want to do here? Well, I suppose they never taught you the principle of uh, quid pro quo up at Stanford. Hmm? up every site we can access on every SPL network. Back up every piece of data we can to the servers down here. And if there's any possibility that someone, someday, survives this cataclysm, I want them to find what we did here. I want them to know. are warning that continued civil disobedience will, if necessary, be met with deadly force. Initial reports have stated that the source of the fire that rained down on St. Louis was indeed the sun. When asked to confirm these reports, spokespersons for the European Space Agency and the White House said that the report was erroneous and misleading. Officials from FEMA were also tight-lipped, but the White House promised an official statement would be made shortly. Demonstrations about the lack of action by government agencies has gripped most major cities, with Seoul, South Korea having the most serious clashes between civilians and the military. We look at the... I wish we'd had more time. There's so much more I want to know.
Find the supernova is almost academic. The fires and the smoke pose a much more immediate danger, and if conditions don't improve, we're in for a very bad time indeed. Are you saying we won't survive another fireball event? We may survive the fireballs, not the fires. Remember the oil fires after Desert Storm? Remember the Indonesian forest fires? Well, after a few days, most of our sunlight won't be able to reach ground level. The nuclear winter. After a few weeks, we may see temperatures stabilize at 15 to 20 degrees below zero, and that's worldwide. They'll stay down there for months. Maybe even years. Yes, basically, we're looking at a mass extinction event. We'll be joining the dinosaurs before the supernova ever happens. This sort of event occurs once in a star's life. There's no stopping it. The only thing strong enough to save us is the Earth herself. Towers are down either way, it's not good. Let's not sing the worst. What'd you say? Let's not assume the worst. Assumptions can be wrong. Austin's predictions were based on a study that I did surrounding the gravitational field of asteroid 460 as it neared the sun. Look at my numbers right here. Janislav was convinced that my assumption was wrong. That is why he highlighted it. If my number is wrong, everything that comes after it is also wrong. I have to get to SPL. Christopher. This country is counting on us to be on the ball, people. Now, I know this all seems insurmountable. But until we are wiped out, we are going to have to try to continue to maintain some sort of order. The people in the field, those people out there, need us to organize things. And they need to know that there is order at the top, or they will fall apart. And if that happens, all may be lost. Now let's get back at it, okay? Captain? That order I gave earlier applies to people trying to leave as well. No one gets in. No one gets out. These people have families out there. We all have families out there, Captain. We falter and everyone will suffer. Are we clear? Absolutely. Good. That's to the west of the city. Oh my god. That's right where Marshall's hospital is. If I can't stay here, not now. Jenny, we don't know what's going on out there. She mightn't get within miles of the area. It could be dangerous. I really hope I see you again. Somehow. You did good, Jenny. We both did. Now it's your time. Good luck.
Cal, look, uh, we, we need to talk. Cal? Hello? You gotta do what you gotta do. But I gotta have some fun before I get called back home. My name is Jenny. What's yours? Cassidy. Cassidy. No, I'm scared too, but everything's gonna be just fine. It's gonna link up to any news site or blog or website still in existence. You wanna do the honors? All you have to do is hit send right there. Maybe we shouldn't. What good will it do? It'll let people know the truth. Will that help them? It's. It's not. And to help save them. That's what you mean. Then what's the point? Huh? I've spent my entire career believing that people have the right to know. No matter how painful, the truth has to come out. And I'd do anything to get it. Anything. I've lost friends, lovers. Nothing else mattered to me as much as finding out what really happened? Who really did it? What was behind it all? And letting as many people as I could know about it. But now... I've come face to face with a different kind of truth. What good does it do to know? 
What can anyone do about it? It's a truth that doesn't really matter anymore. All it can do is make matters worse. Maybe not. Step away, Malcolm. You too, Dave. Sing. I know who you work for, remember? Same employee you do, as I recall. Except I quit. Good for you. I just got fired. What are you looking for, Chris? The truth. One that might matter a lot. Guards fighting a losing battle. Every policeman, fireman, marshal, deputy agent we have isn't enough. Riots are spiraling out of control. Pull all units back to command centers. Order the commanders to expend their resources to protect food distribution centers, public utilities, and armories. Let them have the liquor stores, supermarkets, malls, and the like. If we live through this, we'll need food, water, defense stockpiles, and power to settle things. Time, we are struggling to remain on the air. We aren't even sure if anyone is seeing these broadcasts, but the staff has vowed to stay on the air for as long as we can. With only scattered reports still coming in, we can say with certainty the scope of the destruction has been massive. Fire and rescue crews have been working tirelessly with the help of the military worldwide to not only deal with the destruction, but they have been desperately trying to maintain order to little effect. Casualty reports have topped well over several million, and those estimates are hours old. Shepard isn't wrong, Christopher. There's no way he's wrong. We shredded his figures till there was nothing left. Yeah, well, you didn't shred mine. Keep going. But what if I'm right? What if you're not? Alone. 
It's a mistake. This is a plus sign right here. It shouldn't be a plus. Plus X over two times row. Uh, Tell me this is good. That's PE equals H to the second over 20 times EMME over EMH times three over pi times EMH to the power of two thirds times one plus X over two times rho minus X over two times rho. Minus X, not plus X. Plus sign. Stupid little plus sign. Where a minus should have been. That's good, right? Tell me that's good? Oh yeah. It's good. I have never been this happy to be right about being wrong. <laughs> Austin's whole theory was based on research he asked me to do. But my projections were off. Fractionally. I put a plus sign where a minus sign should have been. Austin was working from a failed premise. I mean, if my conclusions were wrong, so were his. This all boils down to a plus sign. <laughs> so what happens now? Now, you have a truth that's worth reporting. And I have a wife and a daughter that I have to get back to. So I guess this is where we part company. I go with you. I've come this far. I'd like to make sure at least one of us gets home. Okay, just stay right here and I'll be back. No, I don't leave me. Oh. I was really looking forward to meeting your wife and kid. Don't talk like that. You're gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna get you in the truck. We're gonna get up out of here, okay? Let's go. Come on.
scientists at SPL are now convinced there was a fatal error in the original equations that Dr. Shepard used to complete his analysis of the age of the sun. According to Dr. Malcolm Handy of SPL, who's here with me now, this means that earlier predictions of a supernova event over the next weeks or month have been based on inconsistent data. According to our latest analysis, the recent devastating solar activity will be the base over the next few days. But we are not out of the woods yet, as we still have to contend with... Yes, sir, we have the same transmission. Yes, but origination at SPL is confirmed. Yes, sir, but I strongly advise continuation of Phoenix's operational status until we find Handy and analyze what he knows. Sir, we have an investment here. I don't think it's prudent to cancel the game before we have the teams on the field, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. Yes, sir. I think it's safe to say that uh, what mankind did to itself in two world wars, the sun managed to do in a few days. Oh, yes, yeah, Dad. Cities in ruins. Civil order destroyed. Well, we could have gotten off worse, I suppose.
This is Miller at NCC. I need to speak to the president. Yes. Oh, yes. I'll hold. It's okay. I just saw the headlights. Lynn, where's Brooke? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Haley, come on. Oh, I couldn't reach you. I was so scared. Everything's going to be all right. What it's happened good. to you? That's, that's a long story. I'll tell you. not to stay there. But we can't tell her. Not now. She loved Teresa. I know. He's coming, Chris. He does not know where you are. She could have told him. He could have made her tell him. He'll kill us all if he gets the chance. Then we're not staying here. We can't go home. The city's out of control. You saw what it's like. Even when work gets out about the supernova, it could take weeks for things to settle down. Then we're definitely better off on the run. No. We're not gonna run. We've lost so much time because of that bastard. He's stolen it from us. He's stolen my life from me, and I can't let him have any more. What if you're right? What if he did get to Teresa? He'll come here.
That was so stupid. She's in the bath. What do you do when this happens? Well, we started like a lawnmower. Okay, where is it? By the gazebo. All right. No, Chris! We're vulnerable in here with no electricity. You stay here, wait till I come back. Yeah, but what if he's really out there? Take the gun. Take the gun, Chris. Cole, you want it? 
You come and get it. Are you man enough, Cole? You're okay, you're gonna be fine. The doctor's gonna be with you soon. Worldwide phenomena, dousing the fires that have overwhelmed our emergency personnel, as well as most of the forest fires that were too remote for anyone to reach. In the past three weeks, major rainfall across the planet has cleansed the air. The earth is healing itself. Acre by acre, country by country, continent by continent, 
Mother Earth has done for mankind what it couldn't possibly do for itself. Our fierce and terrifying sun has finally calmed itself. Like everything else in this vast universe, it will die. But not now. Not for a long time. Only three weeks ago, we stood on the brink of extinction. We witnessed the dark side of human nature. We saw riots and looting. We saw selfishness and disregard for one another. But worst of all, we learned that there are those who would leave the rest of us behind. With the twisted logic of social Darwinism, an exclusionary Noah's Ark almost set sail. This story has yet to be told, but it will be. In the meantime, let's never forget that we have suffered tremendous loss, but we go on. We have learned, perhaps more than ever before, that we are indeed fragile. Do you think anyone will believe her? Would you? All right, just another fantasy for the conspiracy theorists. Transport's waiting outside. Look. 